Hi everybody, welcome to Healing with Carnivore, my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Lenny, and I am a chiropractor, life coach, teacher. And you know, I've been dieting for 35 years. I was vegetarian, then I went Atkins, and then keto, back to vegetarian. Then I was vegetarian with some protein powders, maca root, pea protein, spirulina, and I was doing the master cleanse to basically lose weight. I've been carb addicted my whole life, thinking I was weak minded and could not control myself. It used to drive me crazy how I'd eat one chip and then finish the bag. So this video is about getting started on a carnivore or keto diet. There's three ways to transition into carnivore, slow, medium, and fast. Now, truthfully, there are a million ways, but I've broke it down into slow, medium, fast so that it just how I just give you a little bit of a roadmap. Now, here's my legal disclaimer. This presentation is not medical advice, nor can I give you medical advice. Everything here is for informational purposes only. If you've got a medical condition, you go see your medical doctor. The following is also my opinion after years of observing thousands of clients' pain and diseased processes. Sugar is a poison and is a huge factor in many of your diseases. Sugar is the ultimate gateway drug in our society. They give it to you early, they give it to you often, and now you're stuck. Now you're carb addicted for life. Maybe even you go into alcoholism, but they want you to do that. So they get you on those diabetes drugs and they get you eating all their crappy processed food. Get off the sugar. Sugar of any form, sweeteners, carbohydrates, sweet, etc., should be avoided as soon as possible. So your carnivore diet is a smoother transition. I know. Giving up sugar is hard. Look, it took me many years to do it. But when you're on a carnivore diet and you're getting satiated with the, you know, red meat with lots of fat, sugar is actually becomes quite easy. It'll blow your mind how easy it is to give up those carbohydrates. Three things to consider when doing the carnivore diet. Are you carb or sugar addicted like I was? I can't eat one bite of sugar or carbs. I have one chip, I'm finishing the bag. I have one piece of chocolate, the bar is gone. Or are you a moderator type, which means you can open a candy bar, eat a piece, let it sit on the counter until tomorrow, and then eat one more piece. I know I can't do that, but some people could. What's your activity in your life? You need to know this. You know, are you a mom, are you a dad, are you full time, are you working six jobs, are you retired? part-time, you're working from home, you know, what is your level of ability to handle maybe some um, side effects when you start your carnivore diet? Then you need to know your why and your measurable goals. Why do you want to change the way you're eating? I started carnivore because my health was slowly deteriorating each and every year. I'm 67 years old and I was watching my blood pressure go crazy some gouty symptoms, bloating gas my whole life, skin tags, eye floaters, I was getting pain in my joints. Plus more, I wrote down 30, I did a video on 37 different symptoms that I was getting uh, before going on the carnivore diet. By the way, once you're, you know, you get start doing this carnivore, you will get sidetracked. So you must remember why. Why am I eating this carnivore diet to begin with? You have to remember. And I also recommend taking pictures. I didn't do this because I didn't think I would change that much. But take pictures of your face, your body, your legs. Do it in short so you can really see your body, so you can see the difference. Remember, why are you eating carnivore? You need to really get clear about this because it'll get a little difficult for you. So you have to have that why right in the front of your mind at all times. Here's a picture of me. In the left hand, that's me three years ago. I was a vegetarian, mostly, maybe a little fish, a little bit of chicken, but definitely low fat, no red meat or tiny bits of red meat every, every year. In the middle, that was me a year ago. You know, I was better than three years ago, right? Um, and I, I would say I ebbed and flowed between three years ago and one year ago. But look at the belly. That's amazing. And then on the right hand side, that's me, you know, a month ago or so and eat, just eating the carnivore diet, no vegetables, no fruits, no carbs at all. I've 
didn't lose that much weight, but I've lost seven inches off my belly and two inches off of each thigh. And I'm completely fat adapted and I feel amazing and feel wonderful. All right. So what are your specific goals for the health goals on the carnivore diet? I want to lose weight, reduce bloating, get rid of stomach acid or that GERD, reduce headaches, blood pressure, diabetes markers, or just remove type 2 diabetes in in general. You want to get rid of your joint pain, your joint swelling, your gout, your digestive issues. Clear your skin tags. My, my skin is completely cleared. Also, I'm not sensitive to the heat anymore. I can go out in the sun. Your autoimmune and inflammatory diseases. You want to just be done with them, yeah? You should see measurable health improvements in most symptoms within that 30, 60, 90 day, one year period for sure. And I'll talk a little bit about it if you don't see significant, you know, health measurement improvements. Okay, some examples of your food goal might be, say you're doing the slow transition. Well, in three weeks, four weeks, you should be eating fatty protein, you know, some vegetables, small amount of fruit, small amount of dairy, and some carbs. You know, what's that, like 50 grams of carbs. You're eating one or two meals per day, and you're intermittent fasting, maybe the 18-6, eating for... Uh, fasting 18 hours, eating for six hours per day. Not bad. That's your goal. Your medium transition, same thing. Three to four weeks, you're eating fatty protein, but minimal vegetables, no carbs, no fruit. So you're going a little bit faster here. You're going to get rid of the fruits and the carbs a little faster. You know, same one or two meals per day, 18, six uh, intermittent fasting. And then fast transition, three to four weeks, you're eating B, 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 and E, beef, bacon, butter and eggs, fatty protein, mostly red meat, butter, ghee, eggs, bacon, and be fat adapted. That means that you're not having any side effects at all. Your body is used to eating the fatty meats. You're eating one or two meals per day, maybe fasting the 20 hours a day eating within a four hour window or even possibly OMAD, which is one meal a day. That's possible on the fast transition. I did it. Most people need to eat way more meat and fat than you're used to. Eight ounces of meat will not cut it. I know that I was eating, blow the, your mind away here, four to five pounds of red meat per day for over two months. And then I was able to get down to three pounds. And then now I eat a little bit over two pounds, sometimes under, mostly over just over two pounds of meat each and every day. And I do... I do the two meals, 24 st still. That seems to serve me the best. Okay, be prepared for success. So you only eat whole foods, foods that have one or two words to describe them. Meat, vegetables, dairy, one or two words. You can read and understand the labels. No processed or sweetened foods. No labels with 20 words in them. Foods that you can afford. Y you know, look, if you can afford grass-fed Beef, great, buy it. If you cannot afford it, you don't buy it. You go to Costco and get $4, you know, ground beef or whatever. You get hot dogs, you know, that are all fully, you know, meat and, and you're, you're good to go. Make sure there's no additives in it. So you're ready to start. First thing you got to do is throw out all the junk processed food in the house, the car, the work, wherever it is, throw it out. Get rid of it. Second, buy a few days worth of meat, eggs, butter, fish, chicken, pork, Buy the full fat cheese and dairy. No more low fat. Buy some pork rinds from Sam's Club and use them for dessert at night. Okay, you ready to go from slow speed to transition? Yeah? You do not have time for fast or quick transition in the carnivore. You can't handle the side effects because you got, you're really a busy person. Plus, you are not carb addicted. You're a moderator. Because if you were a carb addicted, you can't even eat, eat just a little bit of carbs. Because before you know it, you're right back eating the carbs. People call this dirty keto, but it's very low carbohydrates, basically 50 grams per day. That's it. First thing, throw out all the junk we talked about. Second, buy a few days worth of meat. Third, buy a few days worth of green leafy vegetables like broccoli. Fourth, if you absolutely have to have your diet soda or your low carb dessert, get one or two weeks worth and you know fill it in there and get your psychological fix. Fifth, if you absolutely have to have your favorite fruit, 
Okay, buy one or two, but I prefer frozen blueberries. It'll help you, and it's very much less easier in the transition. Six, eat fatty red meat until you're fully satiated. Eat more than you think. It's crazy how much more you have to eat. Okay, medium speed to transition. You're a little more time for maybe you work from home or you're you know working part time or whatever. You can transition to, into carnivore you know in a medium pace. You go a little bit faster into carnivore. You're not carb addicted, so you're a moderator once again. Okay, people call this keto, but is low carbohydrate and under 50 carbs, maybe even 20 or 30 carbs is probably more like it. Okay, first thing, throw out all the junk food. Second, buy a few days worth of meat. Third, buy a few days worth of green leafy vegetables, broccoli, green stuff. Throw out all sugar, all sweeteners of any kind, stevia, monk fruit, no diet soda, no keto desserts, get rid of them. And fifth, get rid of all fruit. But if you have to have a little transition period, buy those frozen blueberries for a week or two and get those pork rinds from Sam's Club and use them for your dessert, that psychological fix at night, get a little bowl full with water. And then remember, eat fatty red meat until you're fully satiated. You'll have to eat a little bit more than you realize when you first start on your carnivore diet. Okay, now this is fast speed. In other words, you have time, you work from home, you might be retired. You can do the fast transition into carnivore. You can handle the possible side effects like diarrhea or tired or flu-like symptoms. You are carb addicted. You are carb sugar addicted. You are not a moderate. You're addicted. You gotta first throw out all the junk food. Second, buy a few days worth of red meat, ribeye, ground beef, butter, ghee, sugar-free bacon, and eggs. If you need variety, buy a little bit of pork, buy a little bit of fish. Third, maybe, maybe have a few days worth of dark leafy greens and maybe you have some dairy for your coffee. Fourth, do not drink any sweeteners of any kind. No diet soda, no keto desserts, none, zero, zilch. And fifth, buy those pork rinds from Sam's Club. It'll help you at nighttime when you need that hand to mouth. And sixth, eat a lot more fatty red meat until you're fully stuffed and satiated. This will help you. And you're probably going to have to eat a lot more meat than you realize. Okay, transition side effects. These things do occur. If diarrhea occurs, eat less fat for a day or two. You can eat the meat, but just eat less fat. If cramping occurs, try electrolytes and salt your meat to taste. Drink more water. If tired or flu-like symptoms, remember, it'll go away. So try to eat, just eat what you're doing. But if you need energy, eat more fat for your energy. Some report hot flashes and increased heart rate after eating carnivore. And right after eating, it'll go away in four to six weeks. That happened to me. All of your transition symptoms will go away in a few weeks to a few months. Don't worry, they all go away. If symptoms do linger or you do not see improvement, you may consider, I'm going to mention these words because you may want to look into them if you're that 1% or 2% people, oxalate dumping, histamines, mold in your house or your history. You might, you'll go on to YouTube and kind of look up oxalate dumping and find out more about it if you don't see improvement or your symptoms are lingering. Just when things are settled and you start to feel really good, something's going to happen. Like you'll get a flu or a cold or you'll travel or Christmas or birthday, something will happen. Don't worry, folks. That happens to absolutely everybody. And just jump back on the horse as fast as you possibly can. Now, the truth of it is there's a blending of the three speeds of transition. Nothing happens the way I outlined it. There's always a combination of those three speeds and you're going to slip up and eat some carbs or dairy or fruit don't worry about it everybody is different and can tolerate different foods too some people can eat a little bit of dairy some people can eat a little bit of fruit but you'll see you'll become so sensitive to foods you won't want to eat those things after a while many people report changes in their body 
their mind and their soul. I know I have. My meditations are deeper. My mind is clear. And of course, my body just feels amazing each and every day. Stick with this diet for a minimum of three months to see the best results. At minimum, you're going to lose the bloating, the gas, your inflamed, painful joints, and those excess pounds you've been dreamed of losing. And you'll get that stuff easily. Okay. For support, go watch videos on YouTube of Dr. Ken Berry, Nutrition with Judy, Dr. Sean Baker, and there's so many more people now doing really great videos. You got to watch the videos for knowledge and, and support. It's really helpful. And please, please, please like, subscribe, and make comments and share with your friends on this video because it'll really help me get this video out to a lot of people. Remember, you can do this. I did it. You can do it. If you want coaching, please email me and I'll give you a free consult to see if we're a match. If we're a match, we'll move forward and do a little bit of coaching. There's my email, ONS Oscar Nancy Sam at protonmail.com. Thank you for watching this video and remember, check out part two. It's coming. Uh, and we'll just go into a little bit more details about a couple of things. Allow your inner light to shine and let it shine bright so it guides you home. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.